My name is Norio Fukami. I'm a professor and a therapeutic endoscopist at Mayo Clinic, Arizona. If you undergo endoscopic procedure to have your intestine examined, your doctor may find a polyp or sometimes called a lesion in your intestine. It can be precancerous or cancerous. It is best to be removed. ESD stands for endoscopic submucosal dissection. It is one of the way to remove the surface layer of the intestine. We inject the fluid to lift the lesion away from muscle layer and then incise into the mucosa using dedicated knife. It is a freehand technique to carve out the lesion. Lesion is separated from the normal tissue and we dissect into the submucosal layer which is a supporting tissue in the intestinal wall. We essentially peel this lesion away from the muscle layer to remove the diseased area. This way, using ESD technique, we can remove large lesion adjusting to the tumor size and the shape. What are the benefits of ESD procedure over surgery? There are reports that too many patients are undergoing surgery for precancerous condition. In one report, more than 75,000 patients per year uh, had surgery for benign colon polyps. All the precancerous lesions can be treated and should be treated endoscopically, and not many people are aware of this. We can achieve the same outcomes without removing the section of the intestine. Surgery has about 15% complication rate, and ESD has about 1-2% to bleeding, and about 6% perforation rate. If I nick the muscle and cut through the wall, then we call it perforation. Luckily, almost all perforation can be treated during the procedure, so not all the patients need the surgery. Overall, about 2-3% to adverse event rate or complication rate with ESD when you need endoscopic procedure or surgery to treat the problem. The tumor or lesion will be eliminated with a third of the cost and much less complication. We do not remove the section of intestine and early cancer can be treated with ESD successfully without surgery if it's found early enough. What are the benefits of ESD over other endoscopic treatments such as EMR? Endoscopic resection is a very effective way to remove lesions. Traditional way is called endoscopic mucosal resection or EMR. It uses a lasso to remove the lesion. However, the size is limited to the smaller areas. If the lesion is large, such as the quarter size, then EMR needs to remove this lesion in small pieces called piecemeal resection. ESD, on the other hand, can remove large lesion without interrupting the tissue cutting in one piece. This is a huge benefit for lesions potentially containing cancer. What type of lesions do we perform ESD on? ESD is typically performed for larger lesions more than two centimeter or typically a quarter size or larger. It is useful for flat lesions that is very difficult to remove by traditional method like EMR. The lesion with the scars or the concerning lesion that may contain cancer. ESD can remove the lesion in one piece without disrupting the lesion. That will benefit the pathologist to evaluate the lesion completely to see the risk of invasive cancer, risk of future recurrence, that may indicate that you may need a surgery after the resection. What type of lesions do we not perform ESD on and prefer to send the patients to surgery? The lesions containing deeply invasive cancer are not suitable for endoscopic resection because of the risk of lymph node spread or the cancer is going outside the intestine. Experts can tell these differences by careful examination, especially the lesions 
containing cancer that is touching the muscle layer is way beyond endoscopic treatment arena. So those patients should be undergoing surgery. How do you find the physician who performs ESD? It is best for you to discuss with your gastroenterologist and ask for a referral to the centers where they perform ESD. You can also call university hospitals or local centers or well-known endoscopic centers to see if they offer high-quality EMR or ESD. They have more experience in evaluating those lesions before recommending surgery. I advise you to ask questions about their experience on ESD and outcomes as it requires extensive training to be proficient. What are the clinical outcomes for patients who received ESD. ESD offers more complete treatment at the first attempt. High quality EMR can offer similar outcomes for larger lesions, but it requires multiple treatment sessions to complete the treatment. Recurrence rate is 1% or less if ESD achieves complete removal. More than nine out of 10 patients do well without complications. ESD may be curative if lesion contains early cancer. What does the recovery look like after ESD compared to surgery? I do ESD as an outpatient procedure, but you may be asked to stay overnight for observation. Depending on the size, location, and if whether complication occurred or not, I may not restrict the diet after the procedure. All the patients need to monitor their poops every day to make sure blood is not mixed in. On average, all patients can go back to their average lifestyle within several days. So if you are found to have precancerous or cancerous lesions or tissue in the intestine and that need to be removed, I want you to know the options. ESD is an excellent option to remove large lesions in the intestine when you are found to have precancerous or cancerous lesions. When you are found to have abnormal tissue that is precancerous or cancerous in the GI tract, I want you to know the options. ESD is a good option to remove large area or difficult lesions in the GI tract. So I want you to know all the options. You deserve the best.